Well, hey, what's going on? So, doing something a little fun today, a little different. I don't actually, I don't ever, well, I don't do demos, right? I just, I hate doing demo videos. I just can't stand them. Today, we're gonna kinda do a demo video, but we're gonna kinda look at some of the projects that we're working on around here. I build pickups for a living. Like, literally, that's my real job. Whenever I'm not shooting a video, I'm making pickups and guitars. I build all of these, and um, they're all kinda different. And so, and I've got some weird stuff going right now, so I was thinking, let's just go ahead and go through uh, a couple of these builds. I'm just gonna show you some of the stuff and some important differences between some of the stuff we build and kind of why I like what we do. Um, we're gonna go ahead and I'll tell you what, let's record this direct. I forgot to hit record over here. All right, so I'm gonna show you some stuff. Um, well, I'll show you the red telly first because it's already plugged in and it has a strap on it. This is one of our Inspire Series guitars. And then if you put a little, that's the bridge pickup, here's the neck pickup. So the thing about these is really fun, is they're 1149, right? So, I mean, it's just a 12 inch radius fretboard, 6150 frets, I like bigger frets than smaller frets. Tusk nut, hand wound pickups that we make here, you know, these are our flat six pickups. And then compensated bridge, uh, you know, I made did something a little kind of fun with this one where we actually put the put a shorty bridge on it and put a clear pick guard on it, but I mean it could be done any way you want, right? We could put a different pick guard on here, we could, whatever. It's all optional. So if you go to Dylan Talks Tone, you can see that. It's pretty fun. Ash body, it's great, man. Uh, and for 11.49, I don't know how you can go wrong. That's one of the things we got going. Mute this, and we'll plug in a different guitar. How about that? See, while we're talking about these Inspire things, I'll show you the strap. I'll show you kind of the more traditional-ish stuff first, and then I'll show you the crazy stuff. Cause it gets a little crazy. This one down here is pretty crazy. I really like the super stratty kind of tubular sound. Um, and then of course we put a humbucker in the bridge of this thing. So same, same deal, 12 inch radius fretboard, Slim C, we do a really sweet finish on the back of the neck that, uh, that I do. Mint green, you know I mean? You can option these things out however you want. You put a little dirt on this thing and it's great. Super fun, man. Super fun guitar. I don't, I don't like drilling the, the back plates on the back of them. Just to keep them super clean. Really, really a fun guitar. Klusen, uh, locking tuners on this one. I mean, really great. And again, these things start at 1149. Just super fun. I'm keeping this one, I think. Unless somebody really wants to buy it from me, I think I'm keeping this one. Obviously, the red guitar's for sale. 
but this one is I don't know I just I just really really like it man I'm really into it I've been playing it a lot I say I'm gonna keep a lot of guitars but they end up going because somebody comes by and says oh I'd like to see that or actually the the black telly with the Bigsby on it ended up going to California yeah they just go everywhere what do you want to see next weird or really weird let's go with weird because this one's going home tomorrow the client is actually coming by to get this I think tonight or in the morning this is an ash body telly it's a little different he brought me a neck because he wanted to save some money and a body that he had and so we just built it up for him. All of the hardware that's in it is hardware, you know, clues and hardware that we all provided and all the wiring and all the pickups and everything and tuners and all that. But he provided the neck and the body. I don't normally do this, but this guy's a friend of mine and he just had it and he's like, I really want a particular look. So, you know, there's a little relicking on there, which, you know, some people love it. Some people hate it, whatever. You can talk about that in the comments if you want. Um, it's a half step down because he plays a half step down, a little more specific setup to what he wants and we got a Esquire setup here so I forgot there is no neck pickup that's not a neck pickup right there it's a light <laughs> it's an LED light that cycles through colors he plays this guitar live he wanted something to attract attention a little bit crazy I mean why not if you've got a guitar that you want to do something nuts with <clears throat> that was too recognizable to anybody and I get a copyright strike for it. Anyway, this thing's really cool, man. And uh, like I said, I don't normally do these kind of projects for people, but every once in a while you gotta do something really, really crazy. So let me show you really, really crazy. This is custom built for a client out in California. He wanted, he actually bought this as a gift for somebody. And he said, this guy's crazy. He wants something a little insane something that sticks out in the crowd. And he asked me because I've done light up pickups before. Let me make sure this is in two. So, uh, Ash Body painted the back of the neck, which I don't hard, I never do that. I've never actually, I don't do that. I just don't like it. This thing, it worked out awesome. The new Clues and Revolution tuners, pretty sweet. Pale Ferro fretboards on everything. We don't use Rosewood here, so it's all Pale Ferro. And uh, which you probably didn't realize until I told you. Mirrored pick guard, and of course, because we're talking about LEDs, these ones light up. And if you'll notice, there's no extra noise coming through the pickups. So in a dark room, told you those are our traditional strat pickups with a center punch pickup in the bridge we do not have a coil split on that guitar but normally I would coil split that I just wanted to try something different for myself so it doesn't have a coil split on it this doesn't have a coil split either this is just volume tone and two this is two DAFs actually but I tried a little custom stuff we put a ceramic we put ceramic magnets in them to make them a little hotter and darker <laughs> And I think it worked. Let's put a, a more gnarly profile on there. Thank you. 
there you go. Just kind of fun stuff. Uh, I don't really have anything to say except for we make fun stuff around here. And uh, I love I love what I do. <clears throat> so, I mean, really. Uh, so there's just a couple little things we got going. Uh, I forgot to mention, in this guitar, this is our Tele 90 pickup. So it's a Telecaster shaped pickup, but it's got the form factor of a P90 with two bars and adjustable pull pieces. And I really, really like it. I need to do a video about Alnico versus ceramic because everybody says it's ceramic. You'll hear that like Alnico is warmer and it's not at all, <laughs> really. It's just people want to say that because of vintagey stuff, but when you really think about how, how it all works, I mean, you can get a really nice warm tone out of it. I mean, let, well, let me show you. These are, these are ceramic pickups in this thing. I mean, warm, like really nice. You can play jazz with this thing, even though it doesn't look the part, you could do it. So yeah, we need to do a video about that. Anyway, that's it, man. That's what we do. When I'm not making videos, this is what I'm doing. I hope everybody has a great day. Thanks for hanging out. I just want to share that. I know it's not a normal video, but I was like, you know what? I actually have a few guitars here right now that we're kind of finishing up and starting and stopping and, you know, in between on the stuff. So it's great. If you have any questions or comments or anything about any of this stuff, put it in the comments. If you're just going to bag on my demo skills, you can bugger off. But other than that, I mean, you know, super fun. I like guitars. I really like guitars. I like making them. I like playing them, and I like seeing other people play them. Like when they get them home, and they play them, and they post a video, and they're like really happy with it. To me, that's people making music, man. That's the thing. Thanks. We'll see you soon.